Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cytrix here, and today we're going to be playing some Mario Kart DLC that were released a lot, about a week and a few days ago. I have enjoyed the courses so much, I have already played them they, with some friends online. They were just that good. I Especially the tour, the tour maps, they were all, all very, very awesome to me. Let's see. So today we're going to be playing them in... Yeah, 100cc. I tried doing 200cc before, but... I, I'm just not a fan of 200 CC. They're just too, they're just too, they're just too fast for me. And while we're while we're going ahead and selecting the course settings, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new to stay tuned for anything new. So let's see here. We got speed. We got weight. Okay. Yeah. We'll just go with this mixed up combination here. So, and I just love it how you just switch the colors. The background just looks so much. Like, it looks so much more vibrant, like it just makes it pop, and I like that. So, here for today, we're going to be going with the Golden Dash Cup. So, let's get started. Yeah, still got the same Mario Kart loading screen there. And in the comments down below, let me guys know who is your favorite character in Mario Kart 8 the, um, Deluxe. So far, I like playing as Cooper Trooper. He is... I don't know, I just he just speaks to me more. It used I used to play as Toad, I think. No, it was Yoshi I used to play as. But then I switched to Koopa Trooper when he became a playable character. Alright, first race, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Ah, uh, Petty. Paris Promenade. Is really good, isn't it? Especially, I, again, I can't stress how much I love the tour courses. I never played Mario Kart Tour because the mechanics, I don't know. When I looked it up on online on YouTube and stuff like that, it, I just didn't, wasn't a fan of, like, playing mobile games like that. I suck at playing mobile games like, um, like Call of Duty Mobile. I, I don't know. I used to be, I used to play a lot of Call of Duty back in the day when I had my PS3, but... Ever since I moved away from home, I gave my PS3 to my sister, and and her kids have just been playing it. Just been playing with it, or I think she already sold it off or something, I don't know. But then, and then Mario Kart Tour released. I, again, I am not exactly a fan of the mechanics. I love the idea about the, ski the, the skins and the real world based off locations, like Sydney, New York, um, and here in Paris Promenade. So I really hope they continue to add more maps from tour into this game here as DLC is really was a good idea to bring breathe new life back into Mario Kart. So when I was a kid, I used to play Mario Kart a lot with my sister. I wasn't any good at it because I was a kid. I didn't know what 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 was one was what. I used to pretend that while my sister were playing on signal player, I used to just jack in the second player controller and pretend we're both controlling the car together. <laughs> yes, I was just I was just that much of a kid back then. Like I I said no, I don't want to play two player. I I am terrible. Ah nuts. Yeah. So so my sister is my sister was just doing mostly all the work and I was just taking some partial credit for it. <laughs> Oh, but let's pay attention here to this race, because Yoshi is trying to pull ahead of me, and I don't like it. Yoshi? Yoshi? Ah. Ooh, that was close. Okay, secured my place. Let's get out of here before another shell comes. And bingo. Ugh, thank goodness. You never know what to expect in Mario Kart at this point. All right, here we are in beautiful Toad Circuit. Another track I, I loved from, I don't know, again, I may not have been a good Mario Kart player, but I always like playing Mario Kart at some point, just trying out the new tracks, how they feel with the new mechanics. I had Mario Kart 7 for 3DS when I was a kid. Well, yeah, but I those are back in high school days, like back in my like sophomore years in high school. I used to just get in touch with my friends and just say, Yo, you guys wanna play an online match? On, like, online and stuff like that, when Discord had just decided to, um, to launch. 
I don't know. I think the, I don't know how long Discord was around, but it was back in its earlier stages back then. We just sometimes we just used to just talk to each other. We said, "Come on, let me let's get let's um, link up online, and then you can show. I'll show you guys who's the better player." And so we did that. I got my ass kicked a lot. I used to come in third or fifth place. I I was just that bad. But Toad Circuit was one of the easier courses to play on for just beginners like me. So yeah, just seeing that this course got brought back, well, it just brings back a lot of memories for you. I hope they continue bringing up more courses again. My favorite course, my f when I had Mar uh, my Wii, I had Mario Kart Wii as well. Basically I owned a lot of Mario Karts. So my, in the f my favorite location to play in Mario Kart Wii was in Cooper Cape. And that that was good. I liked it a lot. The bouncing mushrooms, the, the short the depending on which way you choose. I chose mostly the shortcut for for that one. It was very good, to be honest. And what? Ah, nuts! Jesus, why every time someone has to have a lightning? All right, there we go. Another course completed. Next. Chaco Dash and Nintendo 64. Okay. Um, no, Chaco Mountain. <laughs> I might, might call it Chaco Dash. Um, yeah, Mario. I never played Nintendo 64 Mario Kart all that much. My sister, again, we owned a Nintendo 64. My sister was the one doing all the driving, but I don't remember much from playing those games back in my own days. So, getting to experience this is probably like a fresh new experience for me. I just want to see how they're going to tweak it. Got him. That should teach you to mess with me, Yoshi. Banana peel. Eat it, it's good for you. You pretty much eat almost anything. Like in Mario, like in Mario Bros and stuff like that. Like you eat all the enemies, you eat the squirrels. Like, oh yeah, and that surprised me too when they bring the flying squirrels into this. Why didn't they? Why didn't they do a course based on the flying squirrels? Or I don't know. Wait. Oh yes, there is. There is um the Acorn Cup, but that won't be coming until very later. I, I, I would say, why didn't they do a, a, a um a power up on that? But then I say, oh, but then I just now remember. Oh yeah, they're doing the Acorn Cup. Yeah, that's based on the flying squirrel suit for Mario when they introduced that in Mario Bros. U. Oh, the Wii U days. A lot of people say the Wii U was a failure, but I don't really see it as much of a failure. It was the prototype for the Switch. Like, if we don't make mistakes, if we don't make um, those kind of things, then what are we gonna have? Oh, nuts. Ah! Toad, get back here! Dang, Spinny Shell had to come at the wrong time. Hmm, mushroom, just what I needed. Hit him? Nope. See ya. Something tells me I should have saved that until another spinny shell comes. But what are the chances? This game's mixed up um odd item selections. So yeah, what I was saying, yeah. What was I saying? Back to I don't know, I, I think I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, yeah, the Wii U. Like, no, the Wii U, to me, it wasn't that much of a failure. I never owned the Wii U, but not a lot of good games came out of it, too. So all I can pretty much say is that it was a pretty good game, nonetheless. I had, when I had first played a Wii U, it was in Puerto Rico, when I went, my, do my mom went to go and do some doctor work over there. It was... I, we had stopped by Walmart, and there was a GameStop next by, and I just decided, hey, Mom, can I just go, um, over, I'll be over there if you're looking for me, I promise not to move from that spot. I was like, okay, be careful, do not move, okay, and I promise I won't move, I'll be in there, and then I just, I said, oh, what's this, a Wii? And then I said, no, it's a, what is this, I asked the game Nintendo, what is this, and it's the Wii U, it's the one of the brand new consoles from Nintendo, I said, yeah? 
Okay, what games do we have for it? We have Mario Kart. Mario Kart? Oh, I'm so in for it. And I just sit and I'm just driving all and on about it. Let's see. So yeah, so Mario Kart for me has a lot of good have a lot of good times in my heart. Like me growing up in the Caribbean, video games were pretty much how I how I spend my time over there because there wasn't really much to do apart from going into going swimming, fishing, a lot of a lot of things there were some good experiences to do. But me, I just decided to to put my time into gaming, like not to the point where I'm just an all-in shut-in, like most people will be. So granted, there are some times when I actually just hated studying and just said, I just want to sit down and just play video games all day. But no, that's just not how it's supposed to be. But yeah, Mario Kart was in there for me for the, most of those times. And I, I'm i just really glad that I was able to experience most of this stuff back in my pro and back, back, in all, back in all of this here. Not oh, nuts. Okay, building up speed again. Ooh, I'm just right now trying to win and not lose. But yeah, I was really glad they brought Coconut Mall back. I'm really disappointed that they took out the Miis. The Miis is what actually gave... To me, is what gave this place personality, to be honest. Aw, oh, nuts. Are you kidding me right now with another spinny shell? Nuts. I'm innocent, I tell you. Oh, God. Alright, here we go. Pull Island and Furu. Come on. Ah, oh, nuts. They're closing in, but I'm already gone. See ya, suckers! And that's how you do it. Now let's see, view the results. It's obvious I got all three stars again. <sighs> and there we have it. So, yeah, I'm think pretty much thinking of making a video for each cup that releases, so next time I will be doing the Lucky Cat course. So I hope you guys tune in for more, and if you guys want to stay in tune for that video, don't forget to hit that subscription button, and hit the like button if you again if you really did enjoy this video. So, but I want to know what you guys actually think of the DLC so far, pretty much I'm enjoying it. I don't know what, what a lot about people because they've always been bugging about, oh no, no Mario Kart 9, Duh, this is stupid, why are they gonna give us some a paid DLC, why do I have to do that crap? That's a lot of people, that's a lot of people's opinion, but for me, I'm so mar far enjoying my DLC. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, subscribe again and like the video, and I hope to see you guys for my next video coming soon. Until then next time guys, have a good 